Hello, welcome to lesson 40, Rules for Creating Partial Classes in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn the rules to be followed when creating a partial class. Before actually jumping it, what we'll do is, we'll just recall in the previous session what we learned on partial classes. Partial classes allows us to split uh, a class into two or more files and to split a class into two or more files we need an important keyword to do that work. The keyword is partial keyword and using partial keyword you can also split uh, a struct or interface over two or more files and keep in mind whenever you split these two files and when you when you are uh, compiling at the top at the time of compiling uh, the compiler will combine these two files and compile it singly and that is what the specialty of partial class okay and here are the rules for creating partial class the first rule is all the parts spread across the different files must use the partial keyword and must have the same access modifier it means that now what I'm doing here is I'll jump into Visual Studio and here I'm st I'll start coding, I'll, I'll also see the steps how to follow the rules. Now, what I'll do is I'll add a class here, the class called, sorry, the class name I'll give it as partial sample 1. And this is my one class, I would like to add another class uh, which is a partial one. So what I'll do is partial sample 2 okay now once I'm done with that what is my next job now keep in mind what is the first rule tells you it tells us that all the parts spread across different files must use the partial keyword and must have the same access modifiers here I'm having a two partial classes partial class 1 and partial class 2 and if you're going to split uh, uh, program a uh, piece of class among these two files then these two classes should have a partial keyword within them how to do that how to assign a partial keyword this is how and coming to this partial also I have to assign partial keyword I'll rename the classes as class sample 1 and I'll rename this also partial only the partial class sample and before that I want to add it as public and to this class also I want to make it as public okay now while you press ctrl kd to align the things properly you, are, you have a shortcut called ctrl f to copy all and ctrl kd to align the things properly now what i'm going to show you is what is the first point we learned here in the first point we learned that all the parts spread across the different files use the partial keyword and must have the same access modifier now we did we, le we did the first step that the two partial classes should have the partial keyword yep all the two classes we have partial keyword and the second thing is should have the same access modifier for the in the previous session we learned the access modifiers in C sharp they are uh, public private protected internal and protected internal and for class we can apply only public and internal as of now what I'll do is for this partial sample 1 I'll keep the public as my access modifier and coming to partial class 2 I'll make it as internal when I make it as internal and when I build my project you can observe here when I build my project you can observe the build will not get successfully it failed because it's telling that there are two partial classes and that classes have different access modifiers and that should be not there if it is a partial class and it is telling that this partial declarations of partial sample have conflicting assembly accessibility modifiers it is telling that yeah I'm having two partial classes okay and but the partial classes has different access modifiers which should be not there for the partial class so what I do is I have to go back and I'll rename it as public now when I build it project it builds success build succeeded you can observe here at the bottom left bottom yep here at the left bottom the build succeeded this is what this first two first point tells us the first point tells us that the partial classes should must and compulsory should use the partial keyword if it is a partial class and the partial classes should have the same access modifier got it this is the first point what we learned here first rule and coming to the second part second part if any of the parts are declared abstract then the entire type is, entire type is considered as abstract it means that if any in any one of the partial in any one of the partial class I'm I mentioned the class as abstract then you can't then the entire then 
for example you can observe here this is the partial sample one class in this class if I make this class as abstract then I can't create an object of partial sample 2 or partial, I can't create an object of this partial sample class which is present in the partial 2 also to cross verify it what we'll do is we'll just go and create an object of abstract class keep in mind you can't create an object of an abstract class now when I try to do that like partial well p equals new partial sample and what I'm doing is now when I build the project it tells you like you cannot create an instance of the abstract class or interface partial sample it means that it means that if if for any one of the class like partial class if you make your class abstract then you can't create an instance of any of the two class any of the partial class that is what I'm going to show uh, I showed you here if your class is abstract then you cannot create an instance of it that is applicable to partial class also now I just removed that and coming to the third part if any of the parts are sealed or declared sealed then the entire type is considered as sealed now what I'll do is uh, instead of partial I'll add a keyword called sealed here and to my main, pro main program what I'll do is I'll just create another class called class customer and to this class if I try to inherit if I try to inherit this partial sample what will happen we'll see partial sample now now when I go and build this project it tells that customer cannot derive from sealed type partial sample it means that if any if in any one of the partial class you make the class as sealed and that class cannot act as a base class to other class also that's what we saw here customer class cannot inherit this partial sample because it is sealed and that is the right third point we saw that is the third rule and if any of the parts inherit a class then the entire type inherits that class it means that now I'm having a class customer here in my main program class customer and let me add a method here uh, sorry let me add a method here public uh, void I'd like to like add get method now if I inherit this customer class to any one of the partial class and we'll just remove the sealed keyword and what I'll do is I'll, I'll inherit this customer class to this partial class and when I do that and when I do that what is this piece of sentence telling here if any of the parts any of the partial class inherit a class and then the entire type inherits that class it means that you are inheriting the customer class in the partial sample which is present in the partial sample one class but when you're inheriting that you can go and implement the method you can go and implement the method which is present in this class that is which is present in the customer because I've inherited that customer class to the partial sample which is present in sample 1 but I can implement method here also because it tells that partial class when compiled uh, it will be passed to a single file that's the reason if you inherit in any one of the class you will be able to access the method which is coming from that class also so what I'll do is I'll come here public void otherwise what I'll do is I'll come here mm, Okay, all I'll do is I'll uh, public void get method it's telling that here partial sample get method it's inherited member customers get method use the new keyword if IDing was intended okay now when I build this project you can observe the build got successful it means that now what did I do I just inherited my customer class to the partial sample but I was able to create I was impl uh, but I was able to uh, implement the method which is present in this customer class in my partial sample two class also that's what that's what this piece of line tells you it means that if you inherit a class to any one of the partial class and you can give implementation either in any of the two classes that is what the fourth point tells you and C sharp does not support multiple in, in class inheritance different parts of the partial class must not specify different bases we have seen previously now previously that 
C# -sharp does not support multiple inheritance. So what I'll do is I'll just copy the class just to cross verify. I'll I would like to name it as employee. And this method is like uh, the method name is some method. Okay. Now what I'll do is to the partial class one I'll inherit customer and the partial class two I'll in the partial class two I'll inherit employee. Okay. Now when I go and build this project, what is happening? It's telling that partial declarations of partial sample must not specify different base classes. It means that a partial sample classes can can implement can in inherit only one class at a time. And but what we are trying to do here is in the year we are trying to implement two classes for the partial sample one we are inheriting customer but partial sample 2 we are trying to inherit employee which is not possible and that's why we got an error when we build the project you can observe here the error is telling that partial declarations of partial sample must not specify different base classes that's what we saw here okay coming back you can observe here different parts of the partial class can specify different base interfaces and the final type implements all the interfaces listed by all of the partial declarations it means that we'll jump into partial class and what I'll do is uh, in my program I'm having I'll make this class as interface okay and I'll, I should name rename here as interface and I should name here also okay now it will be not having these things okay interface does not have an implementation so I have to just remove this and I have to add I want to remove this public also because access modifiers are not allowed in interfaces okay for the methods okay now I'm having two interfaces what I'll do is I'll inherit each of the interfaces to one of my to each of the partial classes I employ and I'll come here and I'll implement I customer okay okay the thing is I have to implement that method what I'll do is in any one of the class I'll implement like uh, what is the method for em I employ some method okay and what I'll do is I'll come back to my I'll implement the customer method what is the customer method name customer method name is get method um, public void get method okay now you can observe here when I build my project the build got successful now what did I do in my main program I just created two interfaces one is I customer and I employee and to each of the partial classes I inherited I customer and I employee but what did I do I just provided the implementation to the interface methods now what I can do is I'll just remove this method which is present in the get get method which is coming from the I customer and what I what I'll do is I'll come to my partial sample that is where I am in, in where I have uh, using I interface employee here only I would like to create I would like to implement my method get method which is which is present in the interface employee but when I do this this works fine okay when I build the project it's working fine it tells you that different parts of the partial class can specify different interfaces means uh, your partial classes can inherit different interfaces and fine and the final type implements all the interfaces listed by all the partial declarations it means that see here I implemented I the, I inherited this interface employee to the partial sample which is present in partial sample 1 and I employee is having the method called some method and I provided the implementation also but uh, this public get method which is present in the I customer that is interface customer I should have uh, implemented here only instead of that I've implemented here it means that if you you can inherit the interfaces to either of the 
partial classes but you can provide implementation in any one of the partial class that is what the specialty of partial class okay that's what we learned about interfaces and and now what we'll do is any members that are de declared in the partial definition are available to all of the other parts of the partial class it means that you can create methods anywhere like uh, I'll just remove all these things because just now we saw the employee interface employee and this thing also I customer it means that I can create a method void method 1 okay I mean I can create like I can create another method here also public void method 2 okay now what did I do in in either, in either of the partial class in each of the partial class I created a method 1 and method 2 that's what it is telling that any members that are declared in the partial definition are available to other parts of the partial class now what I'll do is I'll public this is what we saw now and what we'll do is we'll just what is what I'm going to tell you is I have declared my method void method here method 2 here and public void method 1 we know that when we are going to compile when we are going to compile this project at the time of compilation compiler what it will do is it will merge these two files that is partial sample 1 and partial sample 2 and make it one file at that point of time what are, what are the methods we declared in each of them will be combined into single file that's what the meaning of this sentence it means that any members that are declared in partial definition are available to other parts of the partial class at the time of compilation that is what the meaning of this sentence and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ankro training below